It's the 9th of January 2019 and we're under the X-frame at Reed Fruits with the grower manager Andrew Hall. So Andrew's just going to give us a quick rundown on what he's seeing. Um, the trees are currently two and a bit years old. Two years and two months in the ground. Yeah. And what are you seeing so far with the trees inside the Grobo versus your outside trees? Well, just a lot calmer environment. You know, just being able to control everything. The trees outside have had more wind exposure, more, more exposure to extremes of temperature, frost, um, and so uh, you've got more damage to, you know, leaves, uh, just general little bit of bacterial infection, things like that. But also fruit sets a lot less, um, part, assuming because partly because of temperature um, effect on simply on the um, fruit set in terms of um, you know being too low uh, freezing conditions also too high at times um, of your life in these varieties like Regina and Cordia um, is known to be susceptible to quite high temperatures low temperatures so been able to govern that in a range but also been able to keep the bees working um, I assume that's part of it um, but I think general tree stress I think more, more than anything, when they're constantly exposed to adverse conditions like wind, um, whether it's a hormonal imbalance or something in the tree, but um, I think it hasn't helped with fruit set in general because this tree's putting a lot of energy into just other, other things and uh, you know, that, that would have to be, the case would have to be proven, but just inside the Cravo, the tree structure in general has held its shape there's a lot more growth, the leaves are bigger and greener, um, longer extension growth, more even extension growth in terms of branching all up and down the, the main limbs, you can see like this. Um, so these sort of, these laterals are exactly what we're looking for in this variety and um, outside there's more blind spots, there's, there's shoots that may have come out so far and they've been affected by frost and they've pinched back or died. So you've got you, basically, uh, the Cravo, I must say, has brought the maturity ahead slightly to outside. As you'd expect in here, you've got a bit, bit more reflection, um, reflective heat. Um, once again, loss of heat at night time, those sorts of things. So you, we're, we're, able to, um, we're able to slow things up coming into flowering in early spring when it's cooler by shading the house and delaying the flowering and then once it's flowering we've, we've got the uh, trees fully protected from adverse conditions we want to keep everything right for flowering keep any uh, wet conditions out so we're not getting rots in the, um, an infection of botrytis or, or brown rot or any of those things into flowers and keeping the bees moving and that sort of thing um, I guess what what we're seeing here is is then once once we're into that protective mode, um, you've got a little bit more heat and it's calmer and the trees advance slightly. So they are still a lot later than our other farm. So we've picked um, this is Cordia. We've picked this uh, a week to ten days ago at our our other farm which is 50 metres um, above sea level. This property is 420 metres above sea level so it's later anyway. But even despite the Cravo being warmer, we're still later than the other farm substantially. Yeah. So um, it's doing what we wanted it to do and the, uh, the greatest benefit here is that these trees being as young as they are and we've changed their pruning system a little as well but We've actually got a really good crop, really good fruit set in here and we're starting to get a return on investment straight away. So are you seeing any negative impacts in terms of the protected cropping? And so are you seeing any neg negative um, quality um, in the, in the no, cherry fruit no, itself? No, not at this stage. I mean, young trees, you know, generally do have very good fruit on them. They go through this honeymoon period and then you have to start to learn how to manage the tree structure after that. But 
there's certainly no nothing here there's no there's not the wind scarring there's not the insect damage um, bird damage I think even the birds are staying out because they don't like the noise and the bit of flapping and, and things that happen with the with the plastic um, it's yeah it's just so calm in here that you've got you've just got a really clean product and it's and fruit size is good as well and um, you're seeing a more uniform size yeah, inside yeah and very firm fruit very sweet as well sugars are higher part of that's all I guess related back to the trees being able to put more energy into the crop and less into actually standing up and surviving <laughs> yeah very good in terms of fungicide application have you seen any difference between inside and outside or is it too early to oh we, we didn't put it anywhere near as much under here so because we were keeping this year we decided to keep the rain out completely we could have opened it up briefly a few times just to freshen things up and wash the dust off the trees and also green up the row centres because we haven't had the rainfall our row centres have dried off quite a bit um, so we're only wetting the, the mound that the trees are planted in when we're irrigating. Um, but what, what the whole aim of keeping it shut was actually reducing the, the pesticide, fungicide, or more so the fungicide inputs. A little bit warmer in here, we did see a little bit of cherry slug and um, probably a little bit of light brown apple moth very early. It was earlier because it's warmer. The white brown was caught in here earlier than it had been outside. So in terms of insect management, yes, um, probably uh, mites we've got to watch as well, but we haven't seen any of those yet, but we have to be... The warmer environment obviously is probably more attractive to some pests, but it's also attractive, more attractive to some of the predators. So there's a lot of lacewings, a lot of spiders in here which are preying on those um, pests, and we really haven't had that ma ma many problems. So. Yes, they've had um, a normal insecticide program, but the fungicides have been cut down by at least half. Fantastic. All right. Well, thanks very much, Andrew, and no thanks worries. for the update.